Yes, but uh, very often, if there's wine further up or so, there will be chemicals in the water. Mm. Yeah. So <coughs> you have to test the water. And um, uh, it's expensive. You have to test. Well, in Australia, we test for 24 chemicals on vegetables coming from China. They have 64 chemicals in use. And you can say um, there is no, one. It, it, no chemicals, you see, but we haven't even got the equipment to test for the other ones. And uh, that is generally so. And so what is called pure is very likely. You have to check on where it comes from and what farms there are. Yeah. And they all uh, spill water in their own drainage into the river. So unless it is, I have water directly from the forest uh, and I'm the only one who gets it, runs through my place and into the river. Um, uh, I have no, no problem. Donc but pour l'eau, il dit que how on peut tester l'eau, mais euh, de toute façon, on n'a jamais la capacité pour tester. Euh, là, par exemple, chez eux, ils, ils testent 25 pesticides sur les produits qui arrivent de Chine, et ils peuvent dire des fois les légumes ont, en ont aucun, mais les Chinois ils en utilisent 65 pesticides. Donc ils n'ont pas les instruments pour tester les autres. Donc des fois, il y a, les, il y a les, des légumes qui n'ont pas ce pesticide, mais en fait, qui en sont pleins. Et donc, pour le ruisseau, il dit, eh bon, ben, on peut pas vraiment savoir, faut savoir tout l'historique, aller voir toutes les fermes. Can you get water 100 meters down? Uh, at the uh, river leaders. 100 meters ah, down. Uh, yes. 100 meters de profond, hein, there can be a stream, there can be a, a, a basin, and the chemicals may not have got through to there. And you have to test that. That is more possible to test. I would try and go very deep. Small, il faut ramasser l'eau, il faut aller chercher l'eau ouais, profonde. À 100 mètres, ouais. Ouais. Mais l'eau l'eau préhistorique, quoi, l'eau pure, l'eau 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 de la création, quoi. Là. Or have well rainwater. You have big sheds, but then you have to have big tanks, concrete tanks, and keep the rainwater and guide it round. That is always safe. Well, relatively safe. But there is a thing. Um, you allow water to come off the roof and clean the roof, and then it automatically switches over. Mark